Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very important one. It is time for the long awaited copper coil update. I have now had the copper coil for a year and six months. The first video I did on it, I did a year ago and that was my six month video. Uh, that video did really well and seemed to help a lot, a lot of people. So I thought I would do an update because a lot of things have changed since that video. Um, I still have the copper coil. I still am really not regretting my decision to get the copper coil at all. But I just wanted to talk you through a few pros and cons that I have experienced um, with getting the copper coil. If you'd like to see more about the actual insertion process and um, what I thought of that and the first six months of having the copper coil, check out my first video. I will link it down below. If you'd like to see my nine month update, uh, I'll also link that down below and I'll leave a little like tag up here for it but this is what it's been like having the copper coil for a year and six months so i'll start out with the pros of course one of the number one pros is it is non-hormonal so the copper coil i am not getting any sort of additional hormones putting into my body uh this has had a massive impact on me actually i felt a lot more in control of my emotions. Like I still get very emotional. I'm just a very emotional person deep down. Um, but I can kind of sense where those emotions are coming from now. Whereas when I was on the pill, everything all got a little bit cloudy and I was kind of very, very down and I had no idea why. Like I couldn't feel like I, I didn't feel like I had any sort of control or any sort of um, knowing where my emotions were coming from. Whereas now I feel like a lot more connected with my body. I feel a lot more in sync, uh, just having nothing artificial really going into me uh, in terms of hormones. It has made a massive uh, difference on my day-to-day -day life. Second pro would probably be the fact that I don't have to take a pill every single day of my life. I was someone that came from being on the contraceptive pill. Uh, I was on Lunette, uh, which was, I was mainly given to help my skin, which I will talk to you about in a minute. Um, but yeah, not having to take a pill, which then means, you know, I'm not relying on anything in terms of protecting against pregnancy. So there's been no pregnancy scares, which is one other really massive pro. You know, I don't have to do anything in my day-to-day -day life to protect me against that, which is great. And just generally, it's just a lot less high maintenance than anything that I'd tried before. Now moving on to the cons. And these are less cons, more just like peaks and troughs that I went through. I feel like after a year and six months, I have finally balanced everything out. I feel, feel like my body has now got used to having the copper coil. Um, it's not kind of, hormones are not going crazy anymore. For a solid year, actually, probably a solid like 14 months, um, definitely coming off the pill and going on to the copper coil impacted my skin hugely. I'll insert some videos now, cause I've actually, I did some skin videos, um, you know, throughout this whole process, just trying to get my skin back to a decent place. You can see now my skin is so much better. I don't have a single breakout. I've just got these scars, which I've got the kind of skin that scars really easily. I think I'll be able to get rid of them over time with a skincare routine that I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, my skin is so much better. Um, but yeah, definitely coming off of the pill, particularly because I was on Lunette, which was a pill that was uh, given to me to help my skin. So it was literally like a skin, a good skin pill. I came off of that and my skin went haywire. And um, I then went on to a medication for my skin. I'll link that video down below because that really, really helped but I decided to come off that medication because I didn't want to be on any medication. The, kind of, the point of coming off of the pill in the first place was so that I didn't have to be on medication. And then so to be on medication for my skin defeated that kind of whole purpose. Um, so instead I came off of the medication, my skin got a hell of a lot worse again. And finally with a proper skincare routine, I fixed it um skincare routine and i think just time time for my body to get used to having no hormones to get used to being off the pill and to be used to uh, having this copper coil inside of me um 
I think time and a skincare routine really, really fix that for me. Another con, which is, you know, kind of quite widely known is if you get the copper coil, you're quite likely to have heavier bleeding um, and to be bleeding for longer. In my first two videos, I spoke about what the first couple of months were like after getting the coil, so I won't dig too deep into that right now. But after a year and six months, my periods are completely back to normal. There is, you know, I, I can't really remember how they were now, but this, it doesn't feel abnormal at all. Quite weird, actually. It's interesting. Like, my periods are very short now. There may be four days, um, but usually, either on the fifth or the fourth day, I'll completely stop altogether. And then I'll spot, like, one day after that for the day. Um, and then weirdly like two days after that so maybe like the seventh day after I started my period I won't be bleeding anymore but I'll get this really strange um, mild but quite sharp pain uh, it doesn't f it, I know it's to do with my period um, I think it is I feel like it's specifically to do with having the copper coil because I've never had this pain before um, and it's quite sharp, but I can get on with my day absolutely fine. Sometimes I need paracetamol, um, but it doesn't really affect anything. It's just strange because I'm not even like on my period anymore at this point. And it's happened over the past six months, I would say. Um, every single month, this thing has been happening continuously. Um, you know, there's been not one month over the past six months where this hasn't happened. So I just thought that was a weird little thing to to mention but it's no big deal whatsoever um and my period pains are just completely normal i don't even need paracetamol for them usually uh the first couple of months or the first nine months they were definitely more intense um but they have completely settled down and i honestly just think i've got a very bog standard period now which is exactly what i wanted i never thought i'd say that sentence in my entire life but that is kind of what you want isn't it that's kind of it for the cons. Uh, I've had no sort of other symptoms, no weight gain. The only symptom has been my skin and that seems to be fixed now. So I really hope it stays that way. Um, but yeah, that's been the only con. I use a menstrual cup, no problem. Um, I was technically told that I shouldn't because there's a risk of the suction pulling it out, but I have experienced nothing like that. Um, and I, I use one every month and it's been absolutely fine. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention in this video, but honestly, it's quite a straightforward video. I really, really recommend <laughs> the copper coil just through my own experience. I know people have different experiences. I know there are a lot of negative videos on the copper coil of people's terrible experiences, which sound horrific. Um, but luckily, I mean, it's just been working for me really, really well. I kind of took a leap of faith. I kind of ignored all the negative videos and tried to just see for myself whether it was going to work for me. Um, and with a bit of persistence and um, not just like giving up at the first hurdle kind of thing, it, it settled down and everything is absolutely perfect. And now I can have this copper coil in for 10 years um, and be protected and not worry about you know contraception for that amount of time which is really amazing and once you get the copper coil out you're literally uh able to get pregnant the next day like it's instant so it's it's really an effective form of contraception the copper coil can also be used as an emergency contraception so instead of getting the morning after pill you can have the copper coil inserted um which is then a pill uh, another pillless option um, and then you're protected and it'll kind of act in the same way as the morning after pill which I think is amazing and I, I, I'd never heard about that but I read that somewhere and yeah honestly guys I would really recommend if you've been thinking about getting the copper coil if you've been um and ahhing um, and also like wondering between the copper coil and the marina I know the marina can actually stop periods altogether which is definitely what some people want it's not what I wanted because I just feel like I would feel very weird uh, if I didn't have a period at all. I feel like it's quite a release to have that, you know, um, especially because the marina, you still get hormonal, you just don't get the period. And 
you know, sometimes I'm like fighting to have my period. I'm like, I just need to come on and then I'll feel better. So I didn't want that. So if you're looking into getting some different form of contraception to the one that you're currently on, look into the copper coil, look up some videos, different views. This is a positive one. Um, I just wanted to put a little bit of positivity out there, let you all know that it's been a year and six months and I don't regret a thing. That is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little insight into how I found this experience and maybe given you a little bit of a kick up the arse to uh, do it yourself. But yeah, fingers crossed that it works the same for you if you're gonna give it a go. Leave me a comment down below because I'd love to hear about your experiences. I love opening up the comments to all sorts of different sorts of um, questions and experiences. You can literally ask me anything and I will answer it as honestly as I can. And yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will speak to you later. Bye.